Folks, we're starting something new today. On a distant planet, a grim fortress stood. Until a deadly force parted the heavens and descended upon the keep. Though brought to ruin, the ashes of that place hold an artifact of impossible power. A gun that can kill the past. Over time, the fortress was rebuilt. And some who hear the legend would risk everything for another shot. To claim their prize and make what was done undone, they must. Enter the gungeon. <laughs> Folks, I'm very excited for this. Um... So I have I have a pretty long story for this this game. Um, I actually started playing it um, probably when it well, probably near when it came out. I'm just gonna look at some of these. Um, I'm actually gonna start a new yes new change change uh, save slot. I'm gonna start over. I do have previous stuff. Um, but yeah, I uh, I played this game when it came out. I never got too into it. I'm not super into roguelike RPGs, um, but recently my friends and I have been just playing this game, like the two-player, um, you know, whenever we're hanging out in person. And it was just like, I kind of want to play it again and, and like actually experience the full game. Um, and I thought, what better... What, what better to do than on here? So we're going to enter the gungeon. Um, yeah, let's get started. All right. So uh, this is a new slave save slot. I don't. I actually don't know. Oh God. <laughs> I, this is the the Emanonicon. I think it's called. Um, I don't know the PC controls too well. I might switch to controller if I'm having trouble figuring out. But. Um, for the longest time, I would play Hunter, um, but recently I've been kind of getting into the pilot um, whenever we're playing, so I think I'm going to go for the pilot. Um, his lockpick is pretty pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, we really don't have anything yet. Um, we're just going to run up here. I don't need to do the tutorial over there. Um, they're going to be like, hey, hold there, pilot. Before you descend, you, must, you might wish to learn the ways of the gungeon from the great manual. In the halls of knowledge, tutorials are for chumps. Ha <laughs> ha! You're right. Enjoy your imminent demise. All right, let's do it. Um, yeah, I already know that. Maybe it, I don't know if you get anything for doing the tutorial, but if I, if we do, maybe I'll do it later. But um, yeah, let's see. What are these controls? Okay, right click is to dodge. Um, let me just actually look at the controls on here. Um, where are they? All right. Dodge is right click, E, reload, um, use item in space, blank is Q, um, controls, gun menu, pause, drop gun F, drop item G, I. Okay, cool. So, spaces to use the lockpick. Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna jump right into it. Um, yeah, I fucking love this game. I immediately, <laughs> I might have to, I, I am going to think that shift is to dodge. I don't know why, what game it is, but <clears throat> cool. Good start. Got hit on the first room. Um, also, this I, I'm used to playing this game on um, on uh, Switch. It, it actually does look much better on <laughs> PC, which I didn't, ex I mean, it's a pixel art game, right? You wouldn't expect it to look significantly better, but it certainly does. Yeah, hold on. I'm actually going to just right away uh, change this to shift. What does that get rid of? Um, something was shift, right? 
Uh, oh, something was shift here, right? Maybe not. Doesn't look like it changed anything. All right, commit changes. All right, yeah, that that feels much better, I think. All right. Um, yeah, so let, we're just gonna cruise on through here. I, I kind of want to like read <laughs> some of the stuff. I kind of want to know the lore of the the Gungeon universe. Um, so I might do some reading when we find items, or maybe I should read what we already have here. Um, I don't know. I like games that like you get the lore by reading through stuff, rather than like explicitly telling you. I mean, you got that cool intro there, right? But that's like basic level stuff. Um, so I might I might take a look at some of the, the things, but I don't want to I want to do that yet. Let's let's actually focus on playing the game for right now. God, I'm I'm okay at it. I'm not the best at twin stick shooters, but I can I can manage for the most part. Uh, you know, let's get this little shove here. I don't know. Have you guys ever played a Gungeon before? It's a pretty popular game. I feel like when it goes when it comes to roguelikes, I feel like this is probably one of the most popular. Uh, next to like Hades and stuff. Is this a fake wall? I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah, like Hades, I know is also a big one. Didn't it get? I feel like it. Oh shit! <laughs> hey, key guy. All right. I feel like Hades got nominated for Game of the Year. I believe. Um, or one, like, action game of the year or something like that? I don't know. I wasn't a huge fan of Hades. I have a lot of friends who are really into it, but... Gungeon is kind of more my speed. It also just feels so fucking good to play. Um, like, just the rolling and, like, sliding over tables and all the environmental stuff and... Oh, shit. I am having trouble getting used to the, uh, the mouse controls, which is interesting considering you'd think it would be easier. Alright. Ooh, I don't know what this is. Okay, cigarettes. Um, how do I switch items? Shit, <laughs> that is unfortunate. Hold on, <laughs> I used a blank by accident. That's my bad. Um, use item space. Next item. Oh, it doesn't have a. All right, well let's set this to. No, no, damn it. Oh, what the hell did that just do? No, shoot. Shoot is left click. Um, next item, I guess, will be... Oh my god, that's going to fucking drive me nuts right now. Um, oh fuck, what did I just fuck up? I fucked up probably a bunch of stuff. Alright, number one. Did that mess up anything else or are we good? Pause is still escape. Okay, we changed this, yes. All right, yeah, cigarettes. Okay, let's read some stuff here. Um, all right, so my gun, I got the Rogue Special. Underhanded and efficient, semi-automatic, infinite ammo, does not reveal secret walls. The Rogue Special given to the pilot by his partner, it's never let him down. His hip, This hip shooter has been known to fire half-cocked and often gets itself into more trouble than it can handle. Trusty lockpicks. Who needs keys? Chance to pick locks can only be used once per lock. These lockpicks have never let the pilot down, except for the many times that they did. Uh, cigarettes. Hazardous to health. Can result in serious health problems and even death. They do have a certain appeal, though. Kind of curious. Disarming personality. For you, reduces prices at shops. The pilot is able to talk his way into almost anything, usually gunfights. And hidden compartment. Incre extra space. Increases active item capacity and maximum ammo counts. Ever since the hegemony caught him with a few questionably legal goods, the pilot has turned more clandestine st has turned to more cl clandestine storage methods. Very nice. And then we get like the whole, I guess this is just, oh, these are like the starter weapons, yeah. Just the rusty sidearms are always my favorite, but we'll play all the characters eventually. Uh, but we're going to start with trusty old pilot here. I don't know how exactly this is gonna go. Um, you know, talking while I do this. Yeah, here I think I'm gonna use. Oh shit! Well, it was E. Yeah. Okay, it worked that time. Oh no, E is to. Oh, I'm dumb. I'm so dumb. All right, let's save that for later. Um, what is use item then? Hold on. I'll figure out the controls eventually here. Use item is space. Okay. Keep that in mind. 
Uh, okay, give me one second here, folks. All right, sorry about that, folks. We're back. Um, one of my f this is actually one of my favorite parts of the game is the map system. I think it's so cool that you can like teleport around and makes doing these dungeon runs so or gungeon runs, I should say, so much easier and like I don't know, it just feels good. Also, I'm using this gun. I have no idea if it's actually better or not. Uh, but why not use it? it seems like it's not doing much to this guy. <laughs> Ooh, oh, shoot, I wasn't moving, so it didn't roll. I, on the controller uh, scheme, it, it will roll, it just default roll wherever you're um, pointing if you if you hit the roll button, but I guess it doesn't do that on PC, which is okay. We have a uh, heart saved. All right. All right, come here, buddy. Yeah, the first, first area is pretty... Not too bad. Um, I've gotten most of the boss is down to a, uh, a pretty oh perfect. Uh, it's down to a science for the most part. All right, anything good for me here? Not really. What is this? Bionic leg. Well, I have to see what it does now. More man, a machine than man. Uh, bionic leg, more machine than man. Movement speed increased. Oh, okay. Damn, oh yeah, I can actually tell too. Okay, cool. That was worth it. Yeah, I'm not really, like... <laughs> I think the, the reason I didn't love roguelikes as a kid... And I even like a kid, but whenever this game came out, is because I I was just so hellbent on, like, this is going to be the run. I want to beat the game this time. That I didn't really understand that's not the point. Like, you're supposed to die in these games. Alright, I'm not going to... I'm not going to try to lockpick this one. We need the items right now. Rolling eye back at you. Uh, let's see. Rolling through bullets rebounds them towards their owners. Despite his many failings, Sir Manuel is one of the finest dodge rollers ever to enter the Gungeon's halls. This eye is almost purely composed of dodge sight, a rare material that reacts strangely near bullets. That's cool. I don't know if I've ever seen that one before. Is there a button to... This is the last time I'll check the controls. Pro probably. Okay. There is not a button to go straight to the, oh, I guess I, to go straight to the uh, ammo, ammo con. All right, excuse me, buddy. See, like, ugh, rolling across tables, literally nothing else in the universe gives a dopamine rush quite, quite like rolling across tables in, in Gungeon. Right. Anywhere else I need to go? I need to go up here. It's probably, did I already find the boss room? No, this is almost definitely the boss room. Yep, okay. Let's go... Actually, I did everything already. Okay, let's just fucking do it. Let me... I didn't read the... Uh... Fuck, I was... <laughs> I just checked what the button is to go to do this immediately. Alright, Makarov. The People's Gun. The Makarov was brought to the Gungeon by the last Cosmonaut. Some say that Brave Lost Soul still wanders the Gungeon. This gun is no better or worse than any other gun. <laughs> I don't know if it's better or worse than the... Uh than the uh, laser pistol that I have. Alright, looks like we got the... Uh, um, I forget what it's called. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Also, he's ripped, dude. <laughs> Gatling Gull. Rapid Fire Raptor. Alright. Alright, that's how much that did. It's a slightly more accurate, I think, so maybe we should go for it. Yeah, I think it's doing more. Oh shit. Got an unlucky boss arena. No no real cover here. We got some shit, I almost walked right into that bullet. I'm so not used to the uh, mouse and keyboard controls. I do think they're better though. I just have to get used to them. So far hitless though, right? I believe we are hitless. You get a special uh, item reward if you do it hitless. We're getting him, we're getting him. Half health. Kinda doubt we're gonna do a hit list, but I would like to if we could, <laughs> of course. Oh, the movement speed is actually kind of killing it right now. This movement speed, I'm schmoving him right now. He's, he does not know how to hit me when I'm doing that. Oh shit, the, the shaking kind of messed me up a little bit. Alright, come everybody. 
He's just kind of letting me do this right now. Which is nice of him. I don't think he knows how to... I think I broke his AI a little bit. Oh, shit. That's going to blow up. Right. Who? Oh, that's what it does. Okay, damn. Nice. Hitless. Let's go. First first boss and we're doing hitless. Um, holy moly. Look at all that money. Um, okay, so we got a key. Armor. Can save that for later. Okay. Oh, the proton pack. Love the proton pack. And we got um, whatever that is. Master round. That's what you get for doing it hitless. Um, Shield of the Maiden. Also a great item. Um, all right. Proton backpack from Ghostbusters. Deals extra damage to ghost inspectors. Originally brought to the dungeon by a team of investigators who suspected that something strange was going on. <laughs> <laughs> something strange going on. Is that how? I don't know. Master Round. First Chamber. This rare artifact indicates mastery of the First Chamber. Apocryphal text recovered from cultists of the Order indicate that the gun and the bullet are linked somehow. Nice. Alright. Cool. I'm fu we're kind of rolling right now for uh, for our first um, our first go at it. We don't even have any items unlocked or anything. Alright. Let's keep scooting on here. I think what this game also has over Hades is like, oh, hey, oh, we're gonna unlock some characters. These are the uh, the shop owners. All right, we gotta beat the boss to get that. So maybe we should go to the boss first. Oh, fucking parkour. Let's just. I'm just gonna avoid the head <laughs> completely. All right, get these mage guys here. Dude, the bionic leg. I mean, if I ever see it again, this thing is. Awesome. It is so good. You can just completely dodge them. Alright. Come here, buddies. Uh, but I was talking about earlier, like, my problem with roguelikes is, like, I'm just like, I'm gonna beat it this time. I'm gonna beat it this time. And, and you're really not supposed to beat it for a, a pretty significant amount of time. Um, and I just didn't understand that, I feel like, as a kid. I, w I was just like, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it this time. It's just about RNG, and it's not. It's like, you have to play the game for a certain amount of time. I'm really not close enough to kill these guys right now. There we go. Um, so I just eventually get, like, frustrated. I just can't do it. Uh, but funny story, my first, uh... I, I don't know if it's actually my first necessarily roguelike, but one of the first roguelikes I ever played, I think probably one of the first roguelikes most people played that are my age, um, was Binding of Isaac. Um, and <laughs> I have such funny memories because uh, I had a friend who loved the game so much, and he was like, he kept talking about it all the time, like, I'm going to beat it to this, we're getting super far, and um, uh, should we just do this right now? we got the Proton Pack, it should be pretty easy. Let's do it right now, it's just so we can unlock those characters. Ah, the Cobra. Cobra... What is his name? Amaconda Shell Serpent. Um, but he would just, like... He just loved Binding of Isaac so much. Uh, and he was struggling so hard to get through it, and I beat it on, like, my third run. Because, like, unlike Gungeon, um, Binding of Isaac, like, y your RNG can actually make or break the game. I mean, if you get super lucky, you can beat... Damn it. Oh, there goes Hitless. Um, you can beat that pretty easily. And I just got insanely lucky on, like, my first... Um, oh, shit. Die, please. Ooh, God. Oh, I tried to use a blank. It was too late, though. Um, I just got, like, insanely lucky on, like, third run or something. Like, it was in, it was maybe not third, but it was insanely early on. Um, and, I, and I just cranked it out. And... Uh, I just thought that was so funny, and he was so frustrated that I beat it, like, so immediately, and he was still struggling with it. Okay. Um, what stuff did we get? We got some ammo and some hearts, and this gun. SAA. Exhilarated, exhilarating re reload time. Fires ricochet rounds. The single action army may take some time to reload, but you'll hear no complaints from its users. Documents reclaimed from the Order of the True Gun imply that on occasion a cultist briefly attains Gunvana while ch chambering its rounds. Nice. Alright. So, does it take a while? Oh, I don't know. Maybe you have to fire all the bullets. Oh, is it one where you have to put them in, like, one at a time, probably? Yeah. Alright. Wait, they didn't give me the key, though, did they? Am I tripping? 
Did I get the key? Hold on, I have to look at the map in a second. Please tell me the rat's not going to take the key, because I missed it. Hold on. Did I get the key? Doesn't look like I did. Maybe the game was like, he knows too much, he's going straight to the boss. <laughs> Alright, well maybe it's, it's going to be around here somewhere, right? Or maybe you just don't get it on your first run? I don't know. Uh, Alright. These guys can mess you up with the bouncy bullets. Luckily the bats aren't too hard to dodge when they break up. Alright. Come here, buddy. Right. Do we have a talking key around here somewhere? I guess we can use the Makarov now. We got, we got plenty of other weapons, we don't have to... Ooh, oh god. We don't have to save on bullets too much here. It does have, I think, slightly more rounds. Maybe it's the same, I don't know. I can't, I'm not going to count right now. It definitely is a fire rate of fire. A, f a faster rate of fire, I meant to say. Alright. Um, wow, I've actually, I have cranked through the, uh, the ammo that I have on it, though. Holy mother of god, the Molotov would be nice right now. Alright, let me get away from the saw blades. Yeah, it's definitely more accurate, too. Ooh! Alright, come here, buddy. I'm getting a little bit low on ammo now. That's okay, though. Oh, shit. Oh, god, that was close. No, 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 no. Alright. Treasure room. Certainly. Okay. Um... Yeah, we can try to pick it. Oh, yes, it did it. Okay. Ooh. Demon head. I thought that would be an item. It's a gun. Wanged. All right, what does this do? Um, beam. Fires a superheated beam that can ignite enemies. The order of the true gun tells three tales of the demons that dwell beneath the gungeon. All end in fire. All right. That might be like a proton pack kind of thing. I don't know. I do want to. I'm going to actually try out the SAA here. Um, let's zoom up here. Alright. Who's here? Beholder? Mini beholders? Wait, that doesn't have a slow reload time. Did I misread what they were talking about? Oh, okay. Well, I can't use another. What is this? Jar of bees! The pain! Oh, that's an active item. I don't want the cigarettes. Um, let's see. Uh, active items. These bees have been carefully trained to hunt down enemy mu munitions and destroy them. Interesting, okay. Um, let me re read this. Okay. Fires ricochet rounds. The single action may not... Single action army may take some time to reload. It does not, though. It certainly does not take time to reload. I don't really understand. Oh, here's the key. Where is it? It says it's here. There it is. <laughs> Almost missed it. It's hiding over here. Alright. Cell key, what could it unlock? I know what it unlocks. Do these ricochet? Oh, they certainly do ricochet. I don't really... Here, let me try this thing out. Oh, damn! That thing's awesome. Alright, I don't really need to use that, though. Let's just finish off the macro off for now. Oh, stop. We have to. If you see a long table, you have to just, you have to roll across it like that. All right, let's um, trusty lockpick. Nice. Is this a sword? Wax wings too close to the gun. Am I flying right now? What the hell? Grants flight while retaining m maneuverability. A pair of finely crafted wax wings. Wait. I don't understand. What does flight do for me? Oh, I don't go in pits anymore. Damn, that's a fucking beast item. It's giving me some pretty great RNG right now in, t in terms of item drops. I didn't even know I had some of this stuff unlocked. I'm guessing it does not make it fly over bullets, though. That's kind of what I thought it did at first, and I was like, there's no way. <laughs> Alright, is that everything here? Looks like it. 
Alright, give me a half heart, please. Thank you. Alright, let's keep on keeping on here. We're doing pretty good. Th third floor on the first run. Of course, this is where it usually goes horribly, horribly wrong for me. I, this is where I start not knowing what, what enemies are like or, or, you know, that kind of thing. Should probably, yeah, let's, let me use, god damn it. Oh shit, yeah, oh shit. So, oh my god, they're fucking me up here. Alright, move away, move away from me. Oh my god, guys. I promise I'm trying. I know it doesn't look like I am, but I promise I'm trying. Alright, normally I think this would be a bit harder, but I can literally just... Just fucking no thought. Alright. Hopefully we get a shop soon so I can collect some of my hearts. Oh, hey, I need you. Shit. Oh my god, I almost got fucked up there. Oh... Oh, he's getting enchanted. Get out of here. Nice. Alright. Not too bad. There's more, though. Oh, this definitely kills him faster, though. It's pretty accurate. Alright. Let's get out of here. Still got five hits. Not too bad. He's doing the PlayStation signs. Stop him. Oh my god. Can you not do that anymore, Mr. Frog? <laughs> okay, there's water here, but I don't think there's any. Um, let's not. Ah, damn. Alright, well, let's just break it. Uh, maybe not with our... Oh, sweet. Okay, give me a heart. Um, running out of ammo here. 550. Okay, they both have 550. Alright, let's just go macro for it right now. Okay, so usually I can't do this room, but I guess I can now because I have the wings. What is actually over here? Arcane gunpowder. Wait, okay, now hold on. I, I, I didn't say I didn't want that. Uh, What does the arcane gunpowder do here? Bullet component. Before the great bullet fell, the Gungeon's original master used this powder in his experience. The bullet can still mine it from the depths awaiting the return of the master. I don't know what that means. I guess we just gotta try it. I can't. Oh, shit. Okay, well, hold on. First of all, let me blow this stuff up, because I want my lockpick back. Uh, yeah, you take this. Um... Yeah, I guess I don't need that. Um, let me actually look that up real quick. Hold on. 